Hello everybody, Judge Free Time here. How are you doing? So I'm going to show you um, a bit of a scam, if you will, that's going around Tesco in a way. I would say it's a scam. Some people would say otherwise, but I got these <clears throat> wireless earbuds from Tesco, and I made an Instagram post on this, and. Um, <laughs> I basically went in there, you know, to, you know, get my food, if you will. It was Saturday, and I looked at these, you know, and they were 20 quid. Now, there's another set there from Belkin or whatever it is, that was 35 quid. Now, somebody tells me that the 35 quid ones would have been much better than these, but nevertheless, I went for these, thinking... They're going to be pretty bad, aren't they? But, I don't know. I was in the middle of, are they going to be good or are they going to be bad? I was in the middle. So, there was those for 20 quid, which was a bit too expensive, if you ask me, for what they are. Anyway, that's the little case you get with it. <laughs> and they pop open. And as per usual, they all look like Apple's Chromia um, headphones. That I have recently made, well, I say recently, more like a couple of years ago, I made a video on how terrible they were wired. And the wireless ones just looked even more worse in my eye from Apple. But I never bought them from Apple. But I got these ones, and um, yeah, uh, a bit of a scam, <laughs> this one, because, you know, they basically made from very nasty plastic. It was expected. They hurt your fucking ears like crazy. You know, similar stuff like that. Um, I think this one might have the crack. I'm not sure. But one of them's got a crack in it. Which is good quality, by the way, from Tesco. Thank you, Tesco, for having cracked headphones. For 20 quid. Now, these things sound <laughs> freaking awful. Really awful. Um, they're quiet. I mean, the sound's alright. But the volume is terrifyingly low on this. And I've tried it on two devices. Absolutely dreadfully low. So if you're in Tesco and you see these, don't get tempted by them. Don't buy them. Um, and, you know, you'll look like a right Burke. Even with the real Apple ones, you look like a right Burke with those in your ear. Flashing away. It won't flash like that. It's just in peri mode because I turned the Bluetooth off for this video. So, you know, it didn't record with the wrong microphone. Microphone's not too bad on it though. Hello there, JJ from One Day Future from that recording of that video. So this is what they sound like, the audio from these things uh, for, you know, recording on. I might as well keep them in because I was actually listening to the video back through the uh, headphones. Another thing I forgot to mention is they cut in and out uh, quite a lot. So that's an, another great reason not to buy these stupid things. Um, I wonder if the Belkin has the same problem. But I've had no problems with this at the moment in time when it comes to um, signal drops or anything like that. So, anyway, back to me. But the headphones are, well, there's no bass. There's no bass, hardly any sound. You know, it's very, very low in volume. Now, point to my, that was 20 quid. I went on Amazon yesterday, and I found these. Now I thought they'll be more expensive on Amazon, or you can get some cheap ones that sound like absolute ass. These ones were fifteen quid, fifteen, twenty quid. See where I'm getting at, Tesco. And not just we got pair of headphones for 15 quid but absolute awesome case in its own retrospect it is a really good case you know you open up the flap it tells you how many percent the battery is you close it it starts charging your earpods and they actually show a charge indicator and in poundland you can get something similar but i bet they don't sound as good as these now point to my these were 15 pounds and the Tesco ones here 
by 20. And I bet you the Belkins sound like shit compared to these. Now, I do admit they look cool. And um, I was expecting a white case thing on the top, but actually see-through is quite nice too, because you can actually see if it's charging. Um, you don't know how many bars you got left on the battery, big battery itself, because it's that white plastic. Meanwhile, for 15 quid you're getting this, which is a lot better. And don't get me and, and sound quality. Whoa, what a difference. Whoa, what a fucking difference compared to these. These things have tinny sub-poundland headphone quality to them. In fact, you'll be better off in Poundland and get in their wireless range and have a better sound experience than these fucking things. Um they'll be a bit they'll be a bit more louder anyway. Uh, a bit more muddier, much more crappier, from what I've heard. I've actually had headphones from them in the past and uh, they're quite bad but compared to this this is quite as hell it it's rubbish um yeah 20 quid for that and yet yeah, 15 quid for these which sound tons better the bass is very strong although the bass is overpowering the audio a little bit and it does sound a tiny bit like it's in the muddy towel but at the same time you know 15 quid you can't really complain about these. These are pretty damn good. They charge on the go. They have a magnetic thing on them. You can even put in a normal USB to charge a phone with. And you can actually charge them by USB-C. And the funny thing is with these things, to charge them, the thing is at the bottom here. And let me just tell you, the quality on that port is pretty damn lousy. And that's micro USB. Now I don't mind micro USB so much, but when it's in a product that's near brand new to this standard for 20 quid, compared to 15 by the way, 15 quid that I expected, you know, a tiny bit better than this thing. I really did. I expected it a bit better than this. I expected it to have hardly any bass because the originals had hardly any bass, but these things take the cherry on top of the biscuit cake. They really do. Awful. Sound is tinny shite, no bass, nothing. Just very low sound. Yeesh. And uh, apparently these are supposed to have a five to six hour music time. Let me tell you something. You won't want these in your ear longer than five minutes because they're freaking awful in your ear. They, they really hurt your ear really badly meanwhile these things comfy as hell better bass better sound in a way right, a little bit muddier maybe than these but at the same time you're getting a little bit more quality for 15 quid what a rip off honestly if, if this video tells you anything don't buy from tesco's headphone department rubbish absolutely disgusting um considering the fact that they're supposed to be a quality chain of of goods for food and such like that they're not very good on the headphone front considering they were 20 quid for god's sake they feel like poundland shit they are basically light as anything earbuds they hardly have any fucking volume there's no bass well it was expected to have hardly any bass but still it should have been at least a tiny, tiny bit of bass at least it wasn't can't even get a smidgen of bass meanwhile i've got these things and you put into mind that these are kind of a bit heavier and look better. They look well better than those shitty things. And they're 15 quid. So, what is the lesson? <laughs> Don't buy from Tesco. Stick to Amazon. Because, you know, you may get tempted in the shop to buy this. But believe me, it's not worth the 20 quid it's stamped with. These are a disgraceful being 20 quid. If you ask me, they shouldn't even be five quid. They should be three pounds ninety nine or something, because they are shite. They are worth the twenty quid stamp more than this. Anyway, and not forget, you get like a nice display here. Tells you how many percentage the case is at. Looks like it's got a sturdy battery in it as well, so it lasts longer when it charges it. Got good earbuds, better sound maybe. You know everything like that. So a bit of a night and day scenario. 
in my opinion. Don't buy this shite. I buy this shit so you guys don't have to. Take care all.